Hi, earlier we talked about video and video editing software and especially why video is so important in your marketing plans. I mean, of all the media, video is the hottest at the moment. It's the most engaging, it's the best converting, so you really need video. But apart from video, you still would need text. Why is that? That is what I'm going to explain to you in this video. Hi, my name is Olaf and I am your tool finder. So why did I need this Ember script software in the first place? Well, as you know, I'm an online marketer and I earn my money online. And to do so, I also need a lot of SEO and blogs uh, for my affiliate marketing purposes and my sales funnels. So whenever I made uh, a blog, I would try to turn this into a video or to put videos in it as well. And one time I was doing a 100 day challenge with ClickFunnels uh, a sales funnels software system and um, every week I would write about my adventures in the past week so I was just typing in and doing my blog and stuff like this and it would cost me like three to four hours at least every week which is pretty darn long and then one time I thought okay maybe I can just do this easier and more efficiently when I'm just doing a video about my week and then I just upload this video into my WordPress website. So I did this and actually it turned out pretty good. But as an SEO guy, I also know that Google cannot view videos, at least it cannot translate it yet into text. And so it doesn't know what it should do with it and how it should rank it. So for that, you could enter uh, meta tags, alt tags and stuff like this, but and in any case, it's better to also have the total video contents transcribed into text. And of course, as a productivity guy, I'm not going to type this myself. So I went on a, on a hunt on, online and I found this Ember script tool that can do this for you. So here you can see one of my videos. And below every video, you can see here for the transcript, see below. So what I just did is I put this, I, I grabbed this video, I uploaded it to Ember script, I edited the text and then I put it back onto my blog and Bob Shaw Uncle. So what are the benefits of Ember script? Well, apart from the SEO benefits that I just talked about, it's a different experience. <clears throat> so some people like to read, some people like to listen and you just get a broader, wider audience. And a wider audience means more visitors, means more cash for you in the end. It's also easier to share it online with social media and, and the like, if you have text around it, because otherwise you just have to invent it yourself before you can post it. Uh, there are a lot of languages in it. it at the moment, uh, 33 to be exact, is very fast and very accurate. Uh, there is an artificial intelligence engine in it and the, if you use one of the languages that they can actually uh, transcribe, it's pretty accurate indeed. But if you're not satisfied with 90%, you can also go for the more expensive human revisions option, which means you get 100% accuracy. Obviously, you pay a little bit more, but then it's completely out of your hands and no worries and no effort on your side whatsoever. It can distinguish multiple speakers, which can be handy if you're doing podcasts or, or interviews or stuff like this. And it's very cheap compared to manual transcribing, which would take hours. So as I said, what can it do? It can transcribe audio, video, dictations, podcasts, everything that has audio in it. And you can use it for creating subtitles or captions and you can use it for multiple industries. So if you're in education or in government or well, all the ones that are listed here, and especially um, who could benefit from this? If you are in a profession and you use a lot of dictation or you dictate a lot uh, as a journalist, for example, you could really, really benefit from Amber script. It would, it would take, normally it would take you like, like hours to transcribe something uh, uh, in effect. They use a factor of four in this industry to establish uh, the, the multiplication factor that it would take to do something manual versus automatic. So 
automatic would take like say uh, one minute and manual it would take four minutes so it's effective four effectively uh, but also if you're a professional in, in media or in law or in healthcare this could help a lot for example we uh, already saw this with microsoft dictate um, the average U.S. physician could reduce documentation time by about seven hours per week by switching from typing to dictation. And if they have these dictated items, these WAF files or audio files, and they still want to, to have this in a report or something, what can be better than just uploading it into EmberScript and getting your text back? So let's see what people are saying about it. The, the reviews are excellent. 4.4, uh, 4.4, there, there, 4.9 even, 100%, five stars. And here you can see there are a lot of, well, renowned companies that are actually also using EmberScript for their transcribing. Earlier I said it would save you a lot of money and or you could earn much more, uh, save you a lot of time or you could earn much more money by using EmberScript. And why is that? Well, let's go to the calculator and we'll show you. So here we have the calculator and there are a couple of assumptions. We have uh, three variables. You have your video or audio per month in minutes over here we have this multiplication factor compared to automatic so this would normally be four times as long and you have your client fee uh, well in english this means you uh, charge your client for example 60 dollars per hour if you can save a lot of time by using this tool you can earn more money because you have more time on your hands to charge clients for other work that you do for them. But if you are not in the business uh, of uh, self-employment or you, you work for a boss or uh, something else, it's still very useful because it can save you a lot of time. And in that case, you should use this as an internal rate per hour. So that might be a little bit lower in that case. So let's assume you do one hour of transcribing audio video per month. We leave this at four because it's the default and your client fee would be, let's say $100. Then this would save you $385 every month. So times 12, that would be like four and a half thousand dollars. Well, this is of course a lot, but even if you have 30 minutes of video or audio to be transcribed, you put this to three to take account of the, the, the fact that you still have to do a little bit of editing in Ember script to get it perfect. And you put this at 60, then still you would end up at $82 per month. So um, of course, Ember script also would cost a little uh, money per month to use. So that's why we can put this down to three as well. But 12 times 80 is still almost $1,000 per year. So, all right. And here you can see from the calculation and amount subtracted for the cost of using Emberscript per hour of input. So we already have accounted for the fact that you are using Emberscript and you are paying for the transcription itself. Um, but you can play with these a little bit to see what the difference is. For example, 45 minutes per month and the normal factor of four and $100 would almost be $290 per month. So maybe it's time to go to the presentation again and just take a bite of the pudding. So let's go to EmberScript. So I already uploaded a video of Robbie Williams using hair fibers. I myself are, I'm in the hair fiber industry. So this is a topic that is dear to my heart. And um, I've uploaded this because otherwise it would take a little bit of time. Um, but I can show you that I get just got this notification. So I just uploaded this. 
and uh, which is really fine because if you have like one hour of, of media, you upload it to Ember Script, and then you can do something else and you get this email notification once your uh, upload is, is ready. So let's go to the so-called Ember. And what you see here is a couple of things. Uh, from the top, here you can export it. When you're ready, you can play the video. You can rewind it every five seconds. You can rename your video. And you can request a perfect transcript, which is the human revision. Here you see when it's created, that is the date of today, the start time, the length, the speed. So if you are editing in it and it goes a little bit too fast, you just put this down to well, 0.6, for example. You can replace stuff, undo, redo, highlight it for editing purposes, and let's go. Oh, just show something else. These are all the shortcuts that you can use, but okay, for now. Let's leave it at this. Um, let's play. Well, as you can tell, there are some uh, flaws in it or some misspellings or typos. So if you want to change this, you just go back to the beginning and let's edit it. I'm going down on top. <laughs> so I bought some hair. This hair well, on you. Got hair. I don't even know it's going to be. By the way, nice, nice. And so this is not good. I'm going to be. And then she says, but this, actually, his wife. Uh, nice. So let's go there and go again. So he says the right color. And he says it's it's powder, but it's going to be hair. Oh, I can't, I can't paste yet. Okay, so let's go from here.
Well, that's it actually. So this is how it works. You just upload your video file or your audio file into Ember script. It will do the transcription for you automatically. You just edit this a little bit and then you can export it as text, as subtitles or as video. Well, I hope you like this and I will see you in the next. Bye bye.